Hello, my name is Dr. Sneha Piku and I am a consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist here at Care IVF Kolkata. I am going to be talking to you about the poor ovarian responder today. If you have ever undergone an IVF cycle or you are planning to undergo one, you would have frequently heard about the importance of the number of eggs that we retrieve during the IVF cycle. When a woman starts an IVF treatment, she is given injections and the goal of these injections is to develop as many eggs as possible in that woman's body for that particular cycle. When we get a lot of eggs that develop during the IVF treatment, we can make more embryos, more or less. Once we have an excess number of embryos, there is an increased chance of the woman falling pregnant with this IVF treatment. Based on this treatment protocol, there are three types of women. We have women who are called high responders, who produce an excessive number of eggs during the IVF treatment. We have women who are normal responders, who produce an adequate amount of eggs for the IVF. And then we have the low or the poor responders, who fail to develop an adequate number of eggs. Now, it is these women, these poor responders, who are often a challenge for the IVF treatment, for the doctor as well as for the patient. When a woman fails to develop adequate number of eggs, then we assume that there will be less number of embryos for her to transfer, thereby reducing the chances of the success of the IVF. Now, what are the causes of having a poor response? One of the reasons that you, a woman can have a poor response is because of the age of the woman. As we know, biologically, once a woman begins to get into her 30s, the response of the ovaries, the number of eggs that the ovaries can produce steadily continues to come down. And a woman who is in her 40s will produce very few eggs, even with IVF. So age might be one reason that a woman is a poor responder. Another reason is a low ovarian reserve. There are certain tests like the antral, uh, the antral follicle count, which is seen in a scan, the AFC, or an AMH. Now these tests give us an indirect assessment of how the ovarian reserve of this woman is. So if a woman has a low antral follicle count, a low AFC or a low AMH, then we can assume that she may have a poor response to IVF treatment. There are certain other women who may be at risk for a poor ovarian response. For example, a woman who has only one single ovary. A woman who has undergone surgery on her ovaries in which an endometriotic cyst has been removed. Women who are chronic smokers. Certain women who have very short menstrual cycles can also be at a risk for a poor ovarian response. Women who have a family history of attaining menopause at an early age, less than 40, if their mother or their sister attained menopause when they were very young, this might put the woman at a risk for a poor ovarian response. Now, what are the treatment strategies that are useful for women who are poor responders? One of the most frustrating aspects of being a poor responder or treating a poor responder is that the women are often told that it is better you move on to donor oocytes or donor eggs. This is especially very frustrating for young women who are poor responders. I believe that offering donor eggs should be a last resort, especially for women who are quite young. But it is a good option for women who are older. Other treatment options that can be done is totally dependent on what is the cause of the poor ovarian response. It is because of this, it is very important that we find out what is the reason that this woman in particular has ended up having a poor ovarian response to the IVF drugs. Certain things that can be modified is by changing the drugs that have been given to the woman. Certain times, a lot of times we see that the woman did not receive the correct kind of drugs which should have suited her profile better. And even the way the injections have been administered and how the drugs have been stored can also play an important role in how the woman has responded. There are certain treatments that can be done and most of these treatments are done in the cycle preceding the IVF. They are called pre-treatments. They can include certain hormone treatments that will be given to you prior to starting your IVF. Changing the protocols. There are lots of protocols that are particularly suited for women who are poor responders. And a lot of it depends on where you are undergoing treatment and what kind of assessment has been done to see as to why you are having a poor ovarian response. 
A lot of times a poor ovarian response is considered a final diagnosis and the women are told that there is no point in proceeding with treatment any further. But that is not always the case. You should always get a second opinion. You can always go for another treatment protocol and then expect another result. If you have any other further doubts in regards to a poor ovarian responder, please respond in the comments. I will try and solve your doubts. Thank you.